Bethesda released a teaser trailer for a game called Fallout 76. We don't know much about it. Some people are saying it's going to be an online game, but all we have is a teaser trailer right now. I personally think Fallout doesn't need to be an MMO or a Battle Royale game or anything like that, so I hope it's not that. For God's sakes, I hope it's not like that. But we don't know what it is. And ever since that trailer came out, people have been asking me, Che, are you going to do videos about this? Are you going to cover their E3 presentation? If they announce another Fallout game or they give us more information about Fallout 76, are you going to rant about it? And just some other questions like that. And this is a public service announcement for anyone that comes across this channel and longtime viewers. I'm not going to cover this game or any other Fallout related thing Bethesda announces in the future, E3 in a year, whatever. And here's the reason why. I already said what I wanted to say about Bethesda. It hasn't been nice things. I've been very critical of them. That's just how I feel. In fact, I said it so many damn times. Go look back at some of the videos on this channel. I ranted about the future of Fallout. I borrowed Fallout 4 from a friend and reviewed the game so you can get my thoughts on that. I talked about Fallout 4 back when it was announced. I talked about my opinions on Fallout 3 fanboys and Bethesda fanboys and some of the comments they gave me and some other stuff like that. So. You already know my opinions on Bethesda if you watch this channel for a while and you can always look up some older videos. If I just go on here and talk about Fallout 76 or talk about Bethesda's E3 presentation, I guarantee you it's going to be the same old fucking thing that I did a year ago. It's just going to be another round of Che going on here and saying the same things he said about Bethesda years ago. It's not going to change. And that's the reason why I'm not going to cover these games. Now, in the future, if I can find a way to get my hands on these games without paying for it, I'll review it. Just like I did with Fallout 4. I borrowed it from a friend, so I was able to review it without paying any money for it. But I'm not going to come on here and do speculation videos or rant about pieces of information that comes out about the game. Rant about trailers or what I think. I'm not going to do that. It's just a waste of time. That's just the way I view it. I have so many games that I want to review that's in my backlog. So much other stuff that I want to talk about that's way more worthy of my attention than fucking ranting about Fallout 76 or whatever the hell's going to come up soon. I don't really cover games before they come out on this channel. There are some exceptions. I did do some videos about some upcoming CRPGs. And the reason why I did that is because I'm excited for it. And they didn't get much attention so I wanted more people to know about it. Bethesda don't need our help hyping their game up. I'm not going to fucking waste my time ranting and raving about every trailer or every piece of information and hype their fucking game up. I know those type of videos get lots of views where you talk about each trailer, you talk about each piece of information that comes out about the game. Fuck that, I don't want to flood my channel with those types of videos, it's a waste of time. If you do do videos like that, if you make a lot of speculation videos, I'm not talking shit on you, I just personally don't like doing them. And here's my message to Fallout YouTubers or YouTubers that make Fallout videos. I consider myself a YouTuber that makes Fallout videos. So here's my message to the quote unquote Fallout community. Whether you're excited for this or you're mad and you want to rant or you want to make 20,000 videos speculating about what it's going to be, why not just cut back on that type of shit? Focus on the great things that the community does. The modders, the mods, the things that go under the radar. Talk about mods that don't get enough attention or mods that do get attention but they deserve more attention because a lot of these motherfuckers are working for free on shit that looks better than anything Bethesda can pump out. I'm just saying that's what I'm going to do. Last year I reviewed a bunch of mods and this year I'm going to review some community projects and mods. There's a bunch of stuff that goes under the radar. A lot of things that deserve just as much attention as a Bethesda teaser trailer but they go under the radar. They don't get as much attention. It's because a lot of us in the Fallout fandom community were focused on what Bethesda or Obsidian puts out and there's nothing wrong with that. But the whole making 9,000 speculation videos whether you're happy or mad or you want to rant about it, to me it's just a waste of time. To me, just wait until the game comes out and say whatever the fuck you want to say even if it takes like 20 videos. But dissecting one piece of fucking information to rant or be happy about. I don't give a fuck if Fallout 76 is going to be a battle royale game where there's 76 people fighting for a fucking geck. If I get my hands on it and I'll review it, 
I'll tell you how I feel about it, but fuck that speculation shit. That's just me. Let's focus more on a lot of these great mods and community projects and the people that deserve it because they fucking, a lot of them work for free or for very little money and come out with this great stuff. In a lot of cases, they be fixing a lot of the problems that the people that put out official Fallout games don't fix. So, that's just my message. That's just a public service announcement. Have a great day.